Matthew Schwab from Kraken Energy. Let's talk about uranium sustainability in the United States. You're definitely one of the top 10 uranium companies in the U.S. that we're watching. And you've had some breakthrough announcements recently. Let's start there. Thanks, Tracy. It's always great uh, chatting with you. So, yeah, we, we've had a great announcement recently. Uh, the recent news that we announced was that we received approval for drilling at our flagship Apex property. And this is really huge news for the company and our shareholders. It's been a long wait, and our team is very excited to be moving ahead with drilling the priority targets on the project. The mineralized trend at Apex is now almost 17 and a half kilometers in strike length. It encompasses two historically producing mines. It has coincident radon, radiometric, and geophysical targets. And beyond that, it is almost entirely untested by drilling and has yielded surface samples up to 6% U308. So if all goes according to plan, we should have a rig on location before the end of the month. Uh, we are permitted for an initial program of eight drill pads and up to 24 drill holes. This should give us more than enough opportunity to really test our priority targets west of the historic Apex mine. And with this drilling program, I think it gives us the chance to really prove up the entire corridor at Apex. And we are very confident that this will further justify a, a more advanced exploration along the entire length of that 17 and a half kilometer trend of mineralization. I, for those of you out there that might be new to uranium, uranium is about as sizzling as it can possibly be. And many of us see that interest only rising. I think you probably agree with us. Absolutely. Uh, I think everything in the uranium space is looking great right now. You know, pro projected uh, reactor requirements are climbing over the next 10 years. Um, and the uranium spot price finally being at that $70 mark for the first time since 2011 is really exciting. And of course, the reason I'm asking you that question is well, I'm obviously setting you up for this question, which is probably Kraken Energy's most enticing element, in addition to your recent drilling rates, of course, is your location. Would you agree with me? 100%. The U.S. is in a, is a very unique situation. Uh, I think it really highlights the, the deficit that's growing for the uranium demand worldwide, with the, the U.S. requiring anywhere between 35 to 65 million pounds of uranium per year for their 90 plus reactors, uh, it, it's it's quite shocking that it only produces roughly 5,000 pounds of uranium per, per year domestically. So <clears throat> with supply being uh, becoming more difficult to come by with uh, Kazataprom and Cameco now locking up long term supply contracts with China, Russia, etc., with uh, Niger supply being uh, taken off the table for the European Union. Supply is becoming very critical, uh, and I think countries are finally starting to realize uh, how important that is for energy security going forward. And the U.S., of course, again, is a very drastic example of that. So I have to ask you, how did a millennial from Saskatchewan secure such an extraordinary project in the United States? Well, it all comes down to connections in the industry, I guess. Uh, I had a very strong start to my career with a few successes in the Athabasca Basin with Hathor Exploration, Next Gen Energy. And uh, when this opportunity came across my table while I was at my last successful company, I, I jumped at the opportunity with our chairman, Garrett Ainsworth, uh, heading the company uh, before I came on board. Uh, it had the right people, it had the right jurisdiction, and I really saw this as an opportunity to apply our experience and successes in the Athabasca Basin to a largely overlooked jurisdiction. Of course, in addition to being a resource play and exploration play, you're a an ESG and a tech play. Would you agree with us? So what we're doing in the, in the United States is really trying to apply an exploration model that hasn't been used in the U.S. before. Well, when we're looking for uranium deposits, we like to use a term called pearls on a string. So when we find a mineralized corridor, uh, it has all of the components required to have multiple mineralized deposits all in, in string with each other. So we're taking that model from the Athabasca Basin and applying it to our exploration of high-grade assets in the United States. And I think that Apex really gives us an opportunity to make that a real uh, realistic possibility moving forward. And uh, we're very excited to have success on Apex and then apply that to other properties and other jurisdictions throughout the United States. And of course, in addition to the education and management, now that you've had your most recent announcement, 
you are proving that you're achieving the milestones that you're setting forth for Kraken Energy. So for those of you out there that are getting Kraken on your on your screen right now and you're starting to watch it, what should they be looking for next, Matthew? Going forward here, we're really looking forward to drilling off Apex and Hearts Point, our, pro our flagship properties in Nevada and Utah. We're going to be seeing some great results coming from those uh, in the coming months and into 2024. So things to look out for our news releases on those two properties as we move forward and aggressively push forward all of the projects in our portfolio. Well, of course, for those of you who are now interested in Kraken Energy, please go to their website at this following location. And Matthew, thank you so much for the update. It's good to see you. You're very welcome. Thanks for having me.